What's up, YouTube? Some R2 here. I want to thank everybody for all the donations and all. Thanks to all y'all help. We only had to spend $80 to get this uh, back going, and that's including the uh, metal I put around it and safety features I added to it. I got uh, one more leak to fix, and then I'll do another pressure test, and it should be ready to go. And I sure do appreciate all that. We'll, we still got $168 in the account, and we'll put that towards the camera, just like you said. And uh, I sure, you know, I worked out real good, so sure do appreciate that. But at any rate, right here, I want to show everybody this in real time. And in fact, I found some, well, I've looked into this, and this is called uh, Thor. Tholan. Tholan is the name of uh, the compound that we're finding here when we put two plates of electricity together. It is what, it's an electrical relationship between electricity and gas that, that produces Tholan and, and that's what we see and that's an organic material, you know, and, it, it, and well you're going to see, we'll show you. But in, at any rate, these are two regular steel plates. It's not stainless steel. These are just regular iron plates. That, you know, this is materials that are found readily in the earth. This is well water, right straight out of the ground, unfiltered well water. It's actually a measure cleaner than drinking water that you buy at the store. I've had it checked myself. So. But at any rate, no big deal there. Yep, I'm going to put this one together and put it in the thing and apply uh, current to it right here in real time. And they're gonna take it back out and take it apart and show you just how much material is, is coming out of this while we're actually none is being taken from from this metal. I'm just gonna put this together. I got some other video here we're gonna, we're gonna watch and listen to while we're doing this. Cause it don't take but about five minutes. A good solid five minutes. With Twelve volt current. And, uh, I had to check it again. I think it's around eight amps, six to eight amps, somewhere in there. of oxygen is what's killing the fish and this tide, this algae depletes the oxygen and of course this algae is made by high doses of electricity. This is what causes algae. This is why, you know, when you see that red tide, you know there's an excess of electricity passing through the, through the water. And again, if you look at it, you know, and look into it, you know, on our balloon test, we're going to keep it doing. The, the electricity is remaining, you know, it tends to want to accumulate in the gas, you know. And that's what we're seeing when it reverts back to water again, you know, the electricity. As the molecules come back together, 
Anyway, that's the key. That's the key to the whole thing. It's not whether this thing will operate an automobile. It's this the whole key to life itself. It's amazing. At any rate, while Waters is running here, we'll throw something in the corner and you watch and listen to this. Bugs living in liquid methane may sound unbelievable. But scientists have discovered that Enceladus, Europa, and Titan are all covered with a substance called tholin. Tholin contains the chemical building blocks for life to begin. So, could life emerge on any or all of these moons? We can't get our hands on the tholin from the moons. So, Chris McKay makes it in the lab. He zaps a mixture of gases found on Titan with electricity. He zaps a mixture of gases found on Titan with electricity. What he gets is a reddish brown mud. So this is what we make, tholin, this sort of non-biological organic material. It's produced by chemical energy put into simple molecules like methane and nitrogen, and here we got it. And that's the material we see on Titan. We see evidence for something like this on Enceladus. We see it on the surface of many of the moons in the outer solar system. This is nature's recipe for making the stuff that life eventually emerges from. Wow. I mean, not only is there, is there life somewhere, there's life everywhere in our solar system. But when you look at these, these planets, they're heated from the inside out. There, there's a sweet spot in that water or, or between those ice caps on every single moon, planet, everything in our solar system. And the fact that, that what we see derives from hydrogen doesn't, you know, it also comes from any other gases with, with this electrical contact. And the gases that it doesn't happen with are the inerts, and of course that's, that's the reason why they call them that. They don't have any effect with electricity. At any rate, you can see there's been three minutes and 50 seconds. And it's already grown quite a bit out of it. And you'll see when I take it apart that for the amount of matter that's inside that that, that drum, there's, and there's not that much corrosion on the metal itself. We'll take a look here. I got one here that we did earlier. And, you know, it settles to the bottom quite a bit. You know, this, this is an old, an old one from a while back. It's amazing how that that's organic and it resembles, you know, urine and feces biological. Doesn't matter whether it's human or animal or whatever. That's that's a byproduct of, of electrolysis, fuel cell. That's, that's what you and I are. This is how it starts. This is what we're being shown. And it is truly amazing and propane. That's the whole I I put this whole fuel cell away for over a year because I knew it wasn't about the money. That's the first thing people hit you about money. And you know how rich you be. But the fact is it's totally impractical. I mean it'll work, but you'll have to put what it is going it, it's just gonna add to the problem. If we should have we should have went with electric vehicles and we we still need to go to electric vehicles now. The uh combustion engine is totally obsolete. There's no need to try to save that. That's out, that's out of the question. The, the, there was never no need for it, other than to make somebody rich. And, they, and we all sat back in the 30s. In fact, there were more, you know, there were more electric cars on the road in, in the early 20s than there were gasoline-powered vehicles. So by the by the mid 30s, the, that that was totally changed around, and the trend never went any other direction from that point forward. We all know what happened in the early 30s. That's when our whole generation was taken over. Been under control ever since. Complete control. At any rate, that's been six or so minutes. Let's take it off here and see what it looks like and show these plates. As you can see, that's quite a bit of uh, Material inside 
the solution there. to see now that it, the, the, the sunspot, which some of them are like 14 times the size of the earth, okay, are huge vortices going towards the middle. And when they talk about material being spit out of the sunspot, do you guys know what material that is? Water. Large amount of water comes out of sunspots on the sun right beside the fire. No, that's measurements. For me? Is that their conclusion? That's their measurements of the material that's coming out. Mostly water. Well, steam, you know, H2O. Um, yeah, it's um, spectroscopy. But uh, then, you know, so then I was thinking about that. I'm like, huh, 